What's up my gangsters? Uh, welcome to your 30th tutorial. It's been a little bit too long here, but we're going to finish up our map, uh, map app. Uh, just a basic map that you can, you know, zoom around. Um, this is where the city I live in, and it's just going to start out kind of in that view that I'm showing you right here. And please, uh, when we go through this tutorial, please leave me feedback because seems like everyone is having troubles with maps and like some people it won't work for them so either after you get done watching this video and you've watched like the past two videos if you aren't getting the results that you should be getting um and I don't know if this video is going to be one or two so either after this video or the next one in the series um if you guys aren't getting the results just say it's not working but if you are getting the results say it is working um, or if you're too lazy, just type like W for working or like, you know, N for not working or something. Just so I know because it's it's kind of weird and everyone has troubles with this for some reason. But first, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up that main XML that we started last week. And again, you should have something like this. I'm not for sure. I This might have been linear layout. I forgot to look. You can change that to relative layout and that to relative layout. I was just messing around. I think it'll still work with linear layout. Again, you have your uh, actual map view here. Um, I believe we set this up. Here's your ID. You want to fill the width, fill the height. You want to set the Android enabled to true. And you also want to set Android clickable to true. And then here's your API key that you guys should have obtained from the last couple of videos. So just get that set up, and we're gonna get out, get out of there, and now we're gonna go into our main Java class here, and so we're gonna we're gonna uh, to use maps. You need to go extends and not activity, but actually map activity. So it's gonna extends map activity, and it's gonna give you some errors because you aren't using the or first you have to import it. And then you aren't using the implemented methods. So add unimplemented methods. And now we got root or is root displayed. We don't really have to worry about that, but we just had to, you know, override it and implement it. And now we want to go into our on create. Or actually before on create, we're going to set up some variables that we can use throughout this whole class. Um, and the variables that we need to set up. I'll kind of explain them later, but we're just going to set them up for now, um, just so we can use them. One is a map controller. We're going to call it M control. Not set up to anything, and got to import map controller. Next one is geo point, and we're just going to call this one GOP. GOP sounds good. All right, and then uh, the last one is going to be a map view. This is just kind of like the view that we set up in, in the XML. We're just going to call this map V. Again, you have to import that. And now, as always, we need to want those variables to mean something. So we're going to go into our onCreate method. And the first one we're going to uh, mess around with is that map view. And that's again, was what we had in the XML. We had, we had that reference, um, called map view. So we just need to set it up just like we always set up pretty much everything else that's a view. So we have our um, our variable name, and then equals, and we have to say it's a map view, or we want to pass it in as a map view. Find view by ID, and we're going to hit r.id.mapView, and then bam, we got uh, that actually that map v actually meaning something. Uh, we'll use it here. Um, now to get gets uh, we'll actually use it a little bit. So we're gonna hit map view dot, and then um, the first one we want to set up is make our map um, pretty much zoomable, so you can like zoom in, zoom out, do all that great stuff. And to do that, it's just gonna say uh, what is it? Display zoom controls. And as you can see, it's boolean. It's gonna take true or false. And if we want to be zoomable, we're gonna say we want this to be true. So it's going to make that view zoomable. And the other thing we want to do is, I mean, you don't have to do this, but uh, some people do. I'm just going to do it to show you guys an example. 
we're going to go dot and then scroll down here to set built in zoom just because we can and we're going to set this to true as well you're like what does that set built in zoom do well let me go back to this as you can see when you touch the screen it brings up this little thing and you can use those controls to zoom in or zoom out or whatever you want to do so that's a bit that's what the set built-in zoom control does and now we have our map view doing some stuff some pretty sweet stuff and we'll come back to that the other thing we want to do is kind of set where the longitude and latitude of our initial state uh, where, where the center of the map is going to be when our app starts so we're going to set up a double and you guys might not know what a double is because we haven't really used it but just like an integer is like one two three a double is also a number but we can use decimal points and you know because longitude and latitude is most likely going to be using some decimal points and like I said I looked up my city um, so the latitude is going to be 40.8 before an integer wouldn't work because it's uh, 0.8 and so we need to use a double another thing we need to do is set up our longitude so we're just going to call it longi because long is the actual you know uh, name of the class so we can't use that but we're going to call it like long long guy or whatever and then we're going to set this this is again this is just my city you guys can look up yours your city or whatever you guys want to start yours as and it's going to be negative 96.666 and now um, we kind of have our longitude and latitude and they don't really do anything but that's fine for now how do we get those to do something well we need to set up this geo point and what is a geo point well that's kind of something that Google uses or the Android system uses for like findings you know stuff on the map and it's in micro uh, micro uh, what is it micro uh, and I don't have an brains going mush micro uh, degrees wow micro degrees um, so basically we have to take because these are in degrees right now uh, well actually they're in a double but uh, technically like longitude and latitude are measured in degrees so what we're going to do is we're just going to convert this into micro degrees and what we need to do is like I said it's going to be a geo point and so what do we want our geo point to do or equal well First, we want it to say uh, we're going to create a new geo point from the geo point class, which might be kind of confusing. But basically, we're just going to say new geo point. We've used stuff like this before. And what does the geo point take in its uh, parameters? Well, it takes basically the longitude or the latitude and then the longitude. But it takes it as integers. So first we need to say that our uh, latitude is going to be an integer and to do that we just need to put in parentheses int and basically that's going to say hey yeah I know we're using a double right now but we're going to want it to be an int just so it works for this geo point thing just like up here we say hey yeah this reference is like you know it's a uh, um, what is that whatever it's a it's an int as well but hey I want it to be a map view for just so it works so we're going to say int in parentheses and then we're going to take our uh, latitude and we need to times it by 1 e to the 6 so basically this is going to turn your latitude degrees into micro latitude or yeah my micro latitude or micro degrees wow I really need to get some sleep Okay, and then so that's going to be our latitude in micro degrees. And now we kind of need to do the same thing. So we're going to hit comma, um, and now we need to do it for the longitude. So we're going to say longi or longi or long I don't know. Um, and then we're going to type again times 1e6. Now convert it into again micro degrees. And then we just need to close off our little brackets here. Add one too many. And we should 
be good to go once I add some more brackets because I completely forgot. So you need to just add those equations and some brackets as well. So int in brackets and then your equation in brackets. Again, this is just converting it into micro micro degrees. So now we have our geo point. We want our geo point to actually, you know, be used. So this is just, just going to hover, or this is going to be the point of my city on Google Maps, pretty much, um, according to the longitude and latitude of my city. So now we want the M controller, and this is basically going to control the map, and when the app starts, it's going to look to this. So we want the M controller, and then we're going to use a you know method on it. We're going to say animate to, and it, as you can see, it takes a geo point. So it's going to set the center of the map to our geo point, which is uh, GOP. And then what else do we want to do? Well, you know, we want to set uh, that, that control again to, um, we want to set the zoom because we don't want to show like the whole, you know, the whole world and just have our city centered. We want this zoom to be somewhat relative to our city. So we're going to say at the 13th degree. Um, if you had just like one here, it'd basically show the whole entire world. Um, pretty small map anyways. So this is like zooming in, and then once you get to like 13, that's what this zoom will be, is that's at like 13. So basically that's all we have to do, and we should get a, uh, we should get our map running. Again, a lot of people have trouble with this. Please, um... First, you know, when your uh, first when your emulator starts, there's gonna be some gray gray squares or grids, and you want to let that load for a little bit. But if those stay there, like a lot of people are having trouble with, like those gray that grid just staying there. And if that's your problem, um, just please leave a comment because I want you guys to you know learn about this. Oh, I'm getting an error. That's not cool. Right, I'm just going to look through this real quick, see if I missed anything. Oh, yeah, 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 I did. Okay. And anyway, I forgot to set up our M, M controller to actually initially be anything. So we're just going to set up that M controller. Sorry. M controller to actually equal something. So what we want to equal, what we want to be our map view, which is called MV. And then we just say we want to get the controller of, of our map view. So that kind of just initializes it um, so we can, you know, have that variable actually mean something. Sorry about that, but let's try it again. Now I'm just going on random tangents, so sorry if this, you know, this lesson kind of sucked, but um, hopefully this will work. Again, guys, thanks for watching, subscribing. Please give me feedback on this one because a lot of people are going to probably have you know, trouble with this. And see, these are the gray squares I was talking about. Sometimes it takes a while to load, but uh, hopefully you, you get it to load there. And if, if those squares stay there forever, you know, just put a not working comment in, in this video and we can try and figure it out because I might have the next video just kind of be a debugging video because so many people have troubles with this. So um, guys, thanks again. Hope to catch you guys the next few lessons. Sorry I've been crazy busy, but thanks for sticking with me. Um, see you guys later. Peace.